Well, new this morning, a high school quarterback honored by friends and family at a homecoming game. This is a really tough story for any parent out there to hear. Roderick Hutchinson Jr. was just 17 years old. The senior was hit by a car while riding a scooter he had just bought. Fox 35's Connor Hansen was at the game in Port Orange and he spoke with the people who knew him best. While homecoming is a night for students to celebrate, they'll also be remembering their classmate, Roderick Hutchinson. He was in the band and would have been out on the field tonight. That's why his family tells us it was so important for them to be here too. But we have to be here because Junior will be here. He wouldn't give up. He wouldn't sit around crying. And he would keep striving. After Atlantic High School band seniors were escorted onto the field by their families, Roderick Hutchinson's family carried his picture. Roderick's uniform was displayed on the sideline and fans wore blue, his favorite color. Before the game, the national anthem was more somber with a missing bandmate. Roderick's younger sister, a freshman, plays flute. She's trying to hold up. She's trying to do everything she can to be there for Junior. Roderick died after he was hit by a car while riding his scooter. It's unclear if that driver will be charged with a crime, but his sisters say they want someone to be held accountable. I understand it was an accident, That's just but right. a life was taken, a young life, a life that meant something. He was going to be someone. On homecoming night, the Atlantic High School Sharks went on to win against Taylor, scoring on the second play of the game. Roderick's sisters telling students here tonight they should follow Roderick's footsteps. He was just accepted to the University of Kansas, where he planned to study to become a doctor. Atlantic High School, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News.